Wow, okay, we are, I think, finally set up. I'm going to get this card out of here. <clears throat> Hi everyone, it's me, Ed, or Tickle Me Bender, because that was the coolest username I could think of all those years ago. Um, I have a feeling you guys know what this is. It's Dragons of Tark here. Oh god, I thought my night light nearly fell over. Exciting stuff. Uh, I don't think my light situation is that good. I've set up as best I can. I haven't really got the best sort of um, lighting positioning going on, but it will do. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. It's an unboxing. Dragons of Tark here came out yesterday. This is the f first time I've had the chance to sit down working in a comic book store that sells magic means you can't really sit around and talk about magic which is a shame but what we're going to do we're going to um i haven't seen many spoilers of this i know about the planeswalkers i know about uh, narset and everything um so it should be fun what we're going to do is because a lot of people just tend to go through to the like rares and the and the mythics so what i'm actually going to do is be a bit more kind to people that are kind of you know fairly new to magic or you know just you know they just want to look at some of the mechanics and stuff rather than going straight to the other cards we want to see what what everything is what it's all about so dragons of tarkir third um yes yeah, basically the the third um set in the block um, so we, we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna start we're just gonna go ahead. So uh, glaring ages enchant creature um, gets a plus one plus three. Enter, enter, uh, enters the battlefield. Tap target creature and opponent controls. This is all good. Megamorph for seven. You may cast this card face down as a two two creature for three mana. Turn face up for its megamorph cost and put a one one counter on it. It's a six mana. And it's a four six. Loads of huge creatures in this one. As you can see, Colossodon's hard outer shell stops many predators, but with a gentle flip from a dragon, it quickly becomes a meal and a bowl. There you go, exciting times. So, Defender, Megamorph. Okay. Ignore the 45 on there, that's reminding me what brightness my TV is on because it was bright. And also, my hands are really dry. Zombie hands. So, here we go. We're going to go through some stuff here. Glint. Target creature you control gets a plus zero, plus three, and gains hexproof until end of turn. Two mana for that. It can't be the target of spells or abilities. Blah, 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 blah. That's pretty good. We like this. Artful Maneuver. When target creature gets plus two, plus two, uh, until end of turn. Rebound, you can cast a spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from any exile at paying its mana cost. <gasps> rebound, we like rebound, that's amazing. Um, prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn. We will go through it quite quick, but I just, I just want you guys to get an idea of some of the cards. Because a lot of people just skip through these commons, but, you know... These are important too. So prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. You may look at each face down a creature that's attacking or blocking. Well, that's all right. Uh, ah, Vandalize. Choose one or both. Destroy target artifact, destroy target land. That's really good. Five mana. These are expensive cards. Fate Forgotten, Exile Target, Artifact or Enchantment. Three mana. So this is the sort of thing we're dealing with here. I think we'll go through this normally. Um, now, for like the first couple, and then we'll speed through them. Enduring Victory, Instant. Destroy Target Attacking or Blocking Creature, Bolster 1. Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Ah, here we go. Look, we're getting to the good stuff now. Colorgon Monument. For three mana, artifact. Tap to add a black or red to your mana pool. Uh, this becomes a 4-4 four, four black and red dragon artifact creature flying until end of turn.
Warbringer. God, I can't find a good position. The lighting in here is so bad. Good lord, there we go. Dash costs... You pay cost two less. Oh, dash costs you pay cost two less. Oh, dash costs you pay cost two less. And then dash for that. So you may cast a spell for each dash cost. If you do, it gains haste and it's returned from the battlefield to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. That's cool. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't read that just then. Destroy target black or red creature that's attacking or blocking. You gain two life. So that's sort of, I guess, for a custom jobby. Oh! Ah! Here we go, look. Morph is making a comeback. And we've got the swamp there. The morph is just a token. Um, yeah, you can cover this face down creature with this reminder card. So you can pay, like, morph costs and stuff and put that on top of the creature. So... Yeah, fair. that's that's some standard fare. Are we ready, guys? Boom. Risen Executioner. Mythic Rare. That orange, though. Can't block. Other zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one. You may cast Risen Executioner from your graveyard if you pay one colourless more to cast it for each other creature card in your graveyard. That's exciting times. So we are gonna I'm gonna get rid of all this so much crap everywhere. There's a mug down here. Oh man. No good. No good at all. There's a bottle down there. I think we just have to accept that my room is a mess. So there we go. That's the juicy stuff. That's what we want. Oh, it's exciting times. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit quicker now, I think. Now we've got a taste. Hang on, I'm just sorting out all these commons. Hang on, look, let's let's put land and tokens there. Let's put commons there. Uncommons there. Rares and mythic rares there. Okay, cool, right. We're going hard and fast now. That's the only way I roll. So, let's start. I'm just going to pick out some random ones. Shambling Goblin. When Shambling Goblin dies, target creature and opponent controls gets a plus a minus one, minus one until end of turn. So that's good. For one mana. It's pretty, uh, pretty alright. Here we go, let's draw card stuff here. Mystic Meditation. Draw three cards, then discard two cards, unless you discard a creature card. Four mana, that's pretty good. Ooh. Some artifact deck stuff here, it's only three mana, loads of those. I feel an artifact deck! Golem, two five, three mana, Defender. Enters the battlefield tapped. I can dig that. I really like that. More of them. Blah, blah, blah. Dance of the Skywise. Until end of turn, target creature you control becomes a blue dragon illusion. With a base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. Loses all abilities and gains flying. So that's for two mana, so you can have a... A 1-1 one, one on there. And really tough it out. Here we go. I'm going to show all the rares and like, artifacts and stuff. Pretty interesting. Uncommon. Tapestry through the ages. Two mana and tap. Draw a card. Activate this ability only if you've cast a non-creature spell this turn. Good for like a Jeskai thing, I guess. They're all about the non-creature cards. And that's, that's one of them rubbish things. Got another land. Let's go into my land pile here. Boom, here we go. Berserker's Onslaught, enchantment. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. And that's rare. 
That's that that gold symbol though. For five mana. That's pretty good. Okay, let's file these away. So um yeah, I I really enjoyed Fate Reforged. Um Yeah, uh, I work in a, a comic book store, we sell a lot of magic. That that was obviously a smaller um set. I tell you what, no, let's let's leave this open. Let's leave it open. It's all good. Oh man, we need to get rid of all of this rubbish. Right, last time, I don't know if you watched my last video, um, when I did a fake reforged booster pack talking of these, um I did not get one planeswalker. Uh, which is unfortunate. But I got an Ugin now. Um Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. Two mana. Me, me, me. It's all right. There's another one of those vandalized cards. Pretty good. Okay, here we go. Stormrider Rig. Equipped creature. Yeah, artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets a plus one plus one. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach Stormrider Rig to it. Equip two. Interesting. I like that. Oh, here we go. So we've got a Jin Monk token and land. So those tokens will uh, be of import. We got our rare here, Hev Hev Haven of the Spirit Dragon, land. It says old Ugin there, and I think Sorin. So land, tap, add one to your mana pool. Tap, add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Spend this man mana only to cast a dragon creature spell. Lack of dragons, actually, in this i found so far. Um, two mana and tap, sacrifice this. Return target dragon creature card, or Ugin Planeswalker card, from your graveyard to your hand. I want four of these in my deck. That's so good. And it's the colourless as well. I'm I'm sensing artifact decks with Ugin. Ugin being the colourless planeswalker that everyone is raving about, and rightfully so, because he is kind of as they say, rather sick. No, so far so good. Like I say, not many dragons at the moment. In fact, there's quite a few in um, Fate Reforged. So, happy days. Right, okay. As we go through, I'm going to get quicker and quicker. So, here we go. I just want to show you guys a really nice mix of the cards that you get. So, Dutiful Attendant. Human Warrior. Whenever Dutiful Attendant dies, return another target creature card from your graveyard to your hand that's quite cool three mana one two so one of those quite killable creatures you can purposefully get absolutely slaughtered for the benefit yeah i like that la, 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 la. always love blue counters negate for two counter target non-creature spell done love that um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, this is this is heavy artifact. This spider's ilk net. The crew creature gets a plus a zero, plus two, and has reach, which is you able to block flying creatures. Equip it for two to ca attach it to target creature you control. Equip only as a sorcery. Yeah, this is uh, this is proper. Um, colourless, like artifact heavy, this. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now we're getting to the crux of it. Swift Walk Height, 4-4, four, 4-6. Four, four, Flying creature, when it enters the battlefield, you may put a creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste to return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. That's awesome.
Ultimate price. Destroy target mono-coloured creature. That shit is bananas. And then we got our land and our useless advertising card thing. The land will go... Hang on. Ah. Man. I can't even remember my own system. Get those commons there, son. There's our rare Defensor, Kindry Spirit. So she's been... Uh, yeah, she's another legendary creature, as she was last time. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, bolster one. Choose the weakest among them, plus one, plus one counter on it. So she's a 2-2 two, two for two. That's quite good. I like that. Um, so, um, yeah, so, sorry, um, what was I saying last time? Uh, yeah, working in a comic book store, sell a lot of magic. Fate Reforged went crazy. So many people went nuts for it. Well, I, I must say, I seriously underordered what we needed, but um, we made we made up for that over the coming over the next few weeks. But um, yeah, I think everyone just just wanted that that sweet Ugin goodness. I think that's all it is. Okay, with some of these now, I think we are just going to get to the end. I'm going to concentrate on artifacts. Actually, I think. One, mana. Keeper of the Lens. Artifact creature. Golem. You may look at face-down creatures you don't control. Man, I'm feeling artifact decks. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, look at that. Ancient Carp. I'm a carp. Hello. Creature is a fish. It's a 2-5 for a 5 mana. Oh. Um, I think that's silly. Okay. Oh, here we go. We get we get into get into some dragons though. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna save the rare till last. We've got our token and our land there. That is a one one goblin token. So they're gonna go there. It's a foil. First foil. First pull. First foil pull. Mm hmm. -hmm, -hmm. Shape the sands. Instant. Target creature gets plus zero, plus five, and gains reach until end of turn for one mana. It's a green. Holy shit. So good. Still going in the commons pile, though. I should really... I've got. I bought a folder as well. So keen. Okay, right. You ready for this? Boom. Sunscorch Regent. Creature. Dragon. 4-3 for 5 mana. Flying. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Sunscorch Regent and you gain 1 life. That might have to go into my dragon deck. Na 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 na. Yeah. Love that. Okay. We're going to burn through these now. Burn! <laughs> dragon! Also, I'm not wasting time actually showing my face because why the hell would I want to do that? Um... Yeah, guys, there's uh... uh here, here we go. Okay, there was some uh, there was some uncommons there. Sure. Scion of Ugin. Hang on, look, let me let me hold this better. Let me hold this better. Scion of Ugin. Six mana for a 4-4, four, four, and it's flying. I kind of want a lot of them. Just a, just an army of those would be quite cool. So that's that's pretty cool. <gasps> Goodle Lurker. Can't be blocked. Megamorph for one mana. You may cast this card face down as a 2-2 creature for three. Turn it face up at any time. Oh, so I assume you just put a morph counter on top of it. That's what those morph counters were before, I guess. But it's Megamorph. Ah! And then, as soon as you pay for it, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's quite cool. I enjoy that. And there you go. There's the two silly cards. <gasps> Boom! 
Silumgar assassin. Creature. Oh, go away, light. Creature, human assassin. Two mana. It's a 2-1. Creatures with power greater than this guy can't block it. Oh, man, that's cool. Megamorph, you may cast... Cast this card face down as a 2-2 creature for three. Oh, man, that Megamorph. I want that. And Silumgar Assassin is turned face up, destroy target creature with power three or less in opponent controls. Loving that. I'm absolutely loving that. Okay, maybe I should just maybe I should file these as I go along. I think maybe that's what I should do. Ah, oh, come on. So um yeah, I mean let me know guys what you what you've been what you've been pulling whether or not you've just been getting those sweet uh planeswalkers because I know that um, Narset and Serkan is hanging around. Mind drop sorcery, two mana. Boom. Target player destroys two discards two cards. Love it. Love it. Tagam Strike, Sorcery. Target creature gets plus two plus zero until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. Rebound. If you cast a spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves, and at the beginning of your next step, you may cast this card from exile without paying its That's so cool. That's so dope boy fresh. Self-inflicted wound. Ooh. Target opponent sacrifices a green or white creature. If that player does, he or she loses two life. Cool. So those those are your two there, look. Tokens on the lands. They're going in the same pile. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for the are you ready for the rare? Dragon Tempest Enchantment. Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. <laughs> That's cool. Two mana. I like that. So yes, it's going rather well, I think. Let's get rid of all these commons on the pile. We'll talk to you later. And then young commons. Okay. We're enjoying it. We'll keep, we're keeping the show on the road. Um, I also got... I've got a fat pack that my webcam is actually resting on. Focus. Thank you. It's actually resting on. Uh, yeah, um, got an event deck as well. And I must say, I've had a quick look at it. This is pretty special. It is pretty special. Okay, so... Soundstep Ravenger. It's a hound scout. When sand steep, step steep, scavenger enters the battlefield, bolster two. You put two plus one plus one counters on your weakest creature. And it's a two two. So, yeah, that, that bolster two. Okay, here we go. We're getting to some, we're getting to the uncommons now. Battle mastery. Enchant creature. Enchant creature has double strike. It, builds, it deals first both first strike and regular combat damage. So it just hits you twice. Love that double strike. Here we go, look, here's another artifact. Attack a monument. Artifact. You add uh, red or green to your mana pool, this is for three mana. Uh, and then six mana, it becomes a four, four red and green dragon artifact, creature with flying until end of turn. Good late game card. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. So we got got some land and that token. We got a foil. Magmatic chasm for two mana creatures without flying can't block this turn. So this is sort of punishing flying creatures. This one, this set. There's the rare. Boom. Faux Razor Regent. Creature, dragon, flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Whenever a creature you control fights, 
put two plus one plus one counters on it at the beginning of the next end step. Weird. But cool, it's another dragon. So yes, there are some dragons in here. All incredibly pricey. Um, but hey, say la vie, right? Uh, yeah, loads of artifacts. I guess it's all based around Ugin. Okay, we're just going to quickly burn through some of these. We're not going to bother with uh, with these commons. Sarkin's Triumph. Instant. Search your library for a dragon creature card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Three mana. Boom. So good. Hang on. All right, let's put these commons here. The path's getting bigger. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's your two. There's your two. There's the uncommons. Put them down there. Okay. There's the rare. A Russian sovereign. Six six for seven mana flying. Uh, when it dies, you may put it on the top or bottom of its owner's library. <clears throat> so you can't get rid of it effectively. So you got you got to exile that. You got to exile that noise. Really like that. I know you guys just want to see rares and mythic rares. You ain't got time for no commons no more. I understand. Although there will be some. Center soul, two mana, instant. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. That's alright. That's cool. We like that. So those commons. Okay. Vale of Dragonfire artifact. Two mana, then two and tap. Sacrifice Vale of Dragonfire. Vale of Dragonfire deals two damage to target creature. Fair enough. Such commons. Wow. Here we go. Another dragon. Ruthless Death Fang. Death Fang. Focus. What is happening? When you sacrifice a creature, target opponent sacrifices a creature. Alright. So that's your uncommon. We got a rare here. There's your two. Well, that, that one is again useless. That's my land. <gasps> Are you ready? Corpse weft. Corpse weft. Corpse weft? Corpse weft. It literally says that. Three mana. Two mana. Exile one or more creature cards from the, your graveyard. Put an XX black zombie horror creature token onto the battlefield. Tapped. Where X is twice the number of cards exiled this way. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Look at this rubbish. I'm, li I'm living like an animal. So, yeah, for, um, first impression to this. It's kind of... Um, yeah, there's, there's dragons in there, to be sure. I think it feels like there was more in Fate Reforged. Blue instance, love them. Four mana, contradict. Counter target spell, draw a card. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's have a look here. Display of dominance. Choose one, destroy targets blue or black non-creature -perma uh, non permanent. So there's a lot of... Um, Destroying cards of a particular colour in this, rather than just doing something to any creature. It's it's picking on colours. So it's picking on each of the clans sort of thing. Um, permanents you control can't be the targets of blue or black spells your opponent controls this turn. Love it. 
Oh, choose one, that was. Oh! Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. So there's another one of those. Uh, it's a monument. Which is all about the tap to get your particular land that you want. Or this can become a uh, creature until end of turn. Again, what's with that? We don't need it. There's a green land. That is an orange. That is a mythic rare. Come on, why isn't it? Focus. Legendary creature. Elder dragon. Flying and death touch. So that's six mana, three five. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature or planeswalker for as long as you control dragon lord Silim Silimgar. <sighs> that is a little bit fresh. Oh, I'm enjoying that immensely. Okay, so there's some there's some mythic rares. No planeswalkers yet, but to be fair, I don't even think I'm halfway through the box. So let's get yeah we're gonna we're gonna start cracking through this now. We're gonna get rid of some of these commons. Uh, we're gonna look through some of the uncommons. Look like draconic roar as an additional cost to cast draconic roar you may reveal a dragon card from your hand oh i may reveal there's three damage to target creature if you revealed a dragon card or controlled a dragon as you cast draconic roar draconic roar deals three damage to that creature's controller oh i see hell i don't care yeah i'd, I'd show a dragon for that holy hell Zombie. Land. Same pile. <gasps> Love. <sighs> Illusory gains. Enchantment aura. For a uh, five mana. Enchant creature. You control enchanted creature. Oh, I see. I can put it on an enemy. I, yeah, sorry. I, I control target creature. Idiot. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under opponent control, attach illusionary gains to that creature. Cool. I love that. That rare, though. Um, yeah, a, w a weird one. Uh, Fate Reforged felt a little bit more solid. It felt like everything was a bit more... Um, uh... It, it was easier to sort of understand. It felt like you could, you'd be able to gel some stuff together quite nicely. Okay. Orator of Ujutai. Two mana. Creature. Bird mark. It's a zero four. As an additional cost, reveal a dragon card. You may. Defender flying. When it enters the battlefield, if you revealed a dragon card or control the dragons, you cast it. Draw a card. That's cool. I really like that. Some of them in my deck, I think. That that pleases me. Ah. Okay, we've got another dragon here. Acid Spewer Dragon. Flying and Death Touch. And it's got that Megamorph for uh, 6 mana. So I can, you can play it as a 2-2 two -two creature for 3 mana. Turn it upward for seven mana. Then you put a plus one plus one counter on it. So that'll be a four four after that. When it's turned face up, put a plus one plus one counter on each other dragon creature you control. So there's going to be a lot of dragons, I think, from Fate Reforged coming out. There's that morph. There's that land. Got this rare coming in. Ojutai's command. Choose two. Return target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. You gain four life. Counter target creature spell. Draw a card. I am finding four of those. To put in my deck. That's amazing. I love that. I, I just love that Jeskai. Get rid of this nonsense. What is this?
I don't even have a bin set up. I'm just an animal. Living in a human world. There's an artifact. Gate Smasher. Gate Smasher can be attached only to a creature with toughness 4 or greater. The crit creature gets plus 3, plus 0, and has trample. It costs 3 to equip. That's pretty good. I am so feeling an artifact deck. I really, really, really am. Um, so, okay. Skywise Teachings. Enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay two mana. If you do, put a 2-2 two -two blue Jin Monk creature token with flying onto the battlefield. We've had some of that. We've had some of them tokens. We know we know they're a thing. Look at me putting stuff on, on the necessary piles as I go. And we've got that 4-4 that four -four dragon token and a black land. More tokens, please. Zergo Bell Striker. Legendary creature, Orc Warrior, 2 2. Zergo Bell Striker can't block creatures with power 2 or greater. Dash only may cast a spell for its dash cost. If you do, it gains haste and it's returned to the battlefield to the owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Well, that's worth it. That's worth it for real. It's only one mana as well. Oh! Oh, I'm putting stuff on the wrong... <sighs> Pile again. Oh. Hi. I feel like I haven't seen you. So, here's my face. Okay. That, that was weird. Don't know who that guy was. So, okay. we're gonna Yeah, we will start now burning through these commons. There's another one of those... Um, Custodians of the Trove. It's all, all rather fabulous. Ah, uh, here we go. We got some more. Enduring Scale Lord. Creature, dragon, flying. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are placed on another creature you control, we put a plus one plus one counter on Enduring Scale Lord. It's four four for six. He's pretty cool, actually. I like him. I like his face. Okay. Dragonloft Idol. As long as you control a dragon, Dragonloft Idol gets plus one plus one and has flying and trample. Three three for four mana. Yeah, I'm so feeling an artifact deck. I think we all are, aren't we? There's them. A Russian foremost. Double strike. Whenever a ration foremost enters the battlefield or attacks, another target warrior creature you control gains double strike until end of turn. That's the rare. She's cool. I like her. Two mana. Th th three mana, even. Oh, man. I wouldn't listen to a word I'm saying. It's the unwritten rule of booster boxes that all the juicy stuff is at the bottom, and I think we're about halfway. Oh, sorry. That's a common, but she's just cool. 2-1 two, for 2. Whenever Collagon Aspirant becomes blocked by a creature, deals 1 damage to that creature. Sick. Sick noise. She's pretty awesome. I like her. That's pretty cool as well. Defender and First Strike. Dragon's Eye Sentry. 1-3 one, for 1. That's pretty cool. I thought, um, honestly, there would be so many more dragons in here than there are. <laughs> so that's where I'm coming to. Okay, here we go, look. Beltol Dragon. 3-3 three, three for 6 mana. Flying and Hexproof. And it's got that Megamorph again. When it's turned face up, put plus one, plus one on other dra dragon creature you control. That's cool. I guess you, you we won't be able to get around the fact. Jite Monument. There's another one of those weird artifacts where you can put a 
It becomes a 4-4 dragon till end of turn. But, hey, it's practically another land. And we like practically other lands, don't we? Mm-hmm. There's those two, though. Okay. Focus. Silumgar's command. Instant. Choose two for five mana. Counter target non-creature spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus me three, minus three till end of turn. Destroy target planeswalker. Yes. So if you're running planeswalkers in your deck, which I know you are, you better have some counter spells. Just destroy target planeswalker. So if I, if I had my foil Garrick about, if I had Ugin, see you later. Okay, let's go through these now. Now here we go. It's a common, but it's another artifact. Artifact heavy, ancestral statue. So let's let's bring it. I can bring. I can afford to bring this up a little bit closer. When it enters the battlefield, return non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. <sighs> Three, four. This is all good stuff. Okay. We have. Oh. Another artifact. It is a foil. There you go. You can you can see that glint now. Yeah, uh, that tapestry of the ages. That's cool. And it's a foil. Still going in your designated pile though. Some of that. Get rid of that. That land. Are we ready? I'm just gonna let it focus and then I'll spin it. I a shaman. I a shaman. Two mana. For two one. Can't be blocked except by two or more creatures and you can megamorph it. When it's turned face up, exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card. I assume without paying its mana. Yeah, you may play that card. Yeah. Otherwise I would kind of not have any point to it. Okay, we're getting there. I think we're we're slightly over halfway now, and as I say, it's the unwritten rule that the proper juicy stuff is at the bottom. Okay. Let's get rid of those commons. Morang River Skeleton. Regenerate Morang River Skeleton for one mana. It's a 1-1 one, one for two. It's got Megamorph. Yeah, there's some there's some really good cheap cards actually in this, as well as some rather pricey, slightly bigger cards. Oh man. Well for a start. There you go. There's those two. I don't feel like I don't know why I have to keep showing those, because no one no one cares. We got another foil. Check it out. Glint, which I actually had in the um in its non-foil state in the same Booster pack as well. Target creature you control gets plus three plus zero and gains hexproof until end of turn. For two mana. Glint. And it does glint! We love it. Still going in that common pile. Okay. Oh god! <laughs> Sunbringer's Touch. Rare. Bolster X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it gains trample until end of turn. To bolster X, choose a creature with at least blah 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 blah. So that's quite good. So you need something that gives all of your guys a lot of um, a lot of counters on there. Oh, we're getting toward the bottom. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's still like 18 boosters to go, so this is fine. And I do have that fat pack, <laughs> so I can pretty much just fill her up again. Another one of those guys. 
I'm just going to build an artifact deck. That's that's just going to happen. Here we go. Look. Rending volley. Rending volley can't be countered by spells or abilities. Rending volley deals four damage to target white or blue creature. <gasps> Guys, guys, seriously. Okay, that's another one of those uh, the monuments that you can turn it into a four for green and white dragon artifact. But right now, we don't care about that. Some of that. Oh god, I'm act I'm actually happy now because of the bad luck I had with the fake reforged thing. Are you ready? And we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Oh my god, it's not so transcendent for 5 matter and 6 arty points! Oh my god. I was so happy. Planeswalker, Narset. I'm pleased she found her spark. I, I always knew she had it in her. So, her plus one ability. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. For minus two, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell from your hand this turn, it gains rebound. Which I think means you can exile it and then play it again, I think, from what I can remember from rebound. Her minus nine, you get an emblem with your opponents can't cast non-creature spells. Boom, so in, th uh, in four turns she can do that. Oh, I'm just going to leave that there. It's so pretty. Oh my god. My card sleeves are, are somewhere else. That's cool, though. That's cool. She gets her own special place up there. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's not stop. Let's keep this show on the road. I can't. Oh, man. My heart genuinely went the gunk. Yay! Oh, so, so happy. Okay, right. So let's get rid of some of these. Man, so good. There's an uncommon. Let's just keep it mixed. Rakasha's Grave Caller. Rakasha. Rakshaza. There you go. Exploit. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature. When it exploits a creature, put two, two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. That's cool. So if you've got some crap, it's sort of like a cool, I guess, mid to late game card. If you've still got some crazy creatures on so yeah that's all right that's all right oh man i'm just i'm so so happy okay we got them dumped oh no i'm just chucking i'm just chucking tokens over oh man i'm sorry token okay here we go Icefall Re Regent, 5 mana, so 4-3, dragon flying. When it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as you control Icefall Regent. Spells your opponent's cast, the target Icefall Re Regent cost 2 more to cast. I just always lean toward... Yeah, this is like, this is some Jeskai shit over here. This is, this is awesome. Oh man, that Planeswalker. Oh, and it's a gorgeous card as well. I, th You know what? Just because I have it and I can laugh. She's so cool. Amazing. Okay, right, sorry. Right, she goes back there. Let's get on. Okay, here we go. Oh man, okay. Oh! Student of Ojutai. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you gain two life. Yeah, I quite like that. We're still mixing it up, we're keeping it real here. I'll tell you what, this pile of commons is getting cray. Stormwing Dragon. Flying in first strike, it's got Megamorph. 
it's going to cost you an extra mana to flip it back over again. But it does get it out there for three, so it's quite good to... If you haven't got the mana quite yet, you can lay that down. It's pretty good. When it's turned face up, yeah. Put a plus one, plus one counter on an other creature dragon you control. Flying and first strike, pretty cool. Cool. Exciting times. There we go, there's some of that. Oh no, 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 no. You go there, son. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Pitiless Horde. Full of Orc Berserkers. 5 3 for 3 mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose 2 life. Dash. The cost suppose is dash cost if you do it against haste and it's uh, turns back to his own hand at the beginning of the next step. Also, I guess you should. Yeah, you should you need to get rid of that quick. Yeah, boy. Oh man, I, I still can't. I just love it. Oh, it's an um. That's interesting. I think that's some different artwork for Evolving Wilds, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because the last one was like just some uh, was trees. That's cool. I really like that. Oh. Cunning Breeze Dancer, 6 mana, 4-4 four, four flying. Have we done this before? I don't think we have. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Cunning Breeze Dancer gets plus 2, plus 2 until the end of turn. So that's, a, that's a fancy Prowess. That's like Prowess 2. Because Prowess was, um, uh, every time you cast, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, um, creature with Prowess gets plus 1, plus 1 until the end of turn. I really like Cunning Breeze Dancer. Oh man, so good. There's those. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're burning through these now. I don't actually know what these are before I flip them. Oh, Blood Chin Fanatic. Blood Chin. Three mana for th three three card. For two mana, sacrifice another warrior creature. Target player loses X life and you gain X life where X is the sacrificed creature's power. So you can have an insane... So if, you, if you've got a creature with like an enchantment on it that doesn't allow it to do anything, whack this out for three mana, slap it down. If you've got like a something 12 creature, totally worth it. So I guess if you're facing someone that's playing some, some white and they've got like oppressive rays or something, it's quite cool. Look at me talking like I sort of know stuff. Another ancestral statue. So many artifacts. Oh my god. Okay. Let's have a look at one of these. Uncommon. Inspiring call for three mana. Draw a card for each creature you control. The plus one plus one counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. Damage and effects that say destroy... Don't destroy them. So, so good. I guess that's what that means. Oh, this is good. This looks quite powerful. Hang on, there's another on common. But if you've got... If you've got the land to pay for it... Deathwind. Instant. Target creature gets... Minus X, minus X. Until end of turn. So you can, you can just kill... You can just kill a creature with that. Some of that. Okay. Deathwind. Instant. <laughs> I got the wrong card. That's exactly what I did last time. Okay, okay, I definitely haven't looked at this now. <gasps> Secure the wastes instant. X white. Put X one one white warrior creature tokens onto the battlefield. So that's awesome. I will put ten land into that. 
Cool. Cool beans. So I've got, I got, I've got one planeswalker. And I've still got quite a few. I mean, how many have I got here? One, two, three. There's still like ten boosters to go. Nine or ten boosters. Okay, we got to have a look at this because I've, I've seen it pop up a few times. It's a one six for four mana. Wandering tomb shell creature. Zombie turtle. Oh my god. Oh, that's all it does. But it's a one six. So that's fine. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna have a proper look at these in a bit. Yeah, look, there you go, same again. Artifacts and colourless. So just a colourless deck. That's in the same pack. It's quite the time to be alive. Ooh. <clears throat> Grace Blade Artisan. Creature, human monk. It gets plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it. Oh, so you can just bolster the hell out of that. That's an uncommon as well. Oh, wow. No, that's actually amazing. You can just build that up and up and up and up. There's those. Let's get them out of the way. Okay. Oh, what we got? Avatar of the Focus of the Resolute. Two mana, so three, two. Reach and Trample. Is that only two mana? Wow. Avatar of the Resolute ends the battle with a plus one, plus one counter on it. For each other creature you control, plus one, plus one counter on it. It exemplifies the ideals of the Dromoka. Strength, unity, and honour. It's like a Klingon. I'll tell you what guys, this is this is happy days. And I've got Ugin as well. Oh man, we got we got planeswalkers for days. Just so content with what's been going on. Got some good cards. I've got Narset. People have been known to open up entire ones of these and not get boosters um, you know, get uh, planeswalkers such as myself. Cause I am an arse. Oh here we go. This is a look looks like a pretty standard black card. Ukad Cobra. Four mana. Two five. Death Touch. A two five of Death Touch. That's pretty good. For four mana. Oh, if I'm running black, I want, I want that. That's really good. Put something where you can have reach on that. You've got yourself a card. Ooh. Scorncrag Elemental. Oh, I can't I can't control this card. Six mana, five five trample megamorph. It'll be six six for six after you turn it up, but it'll cost you nine mana after oh no, four, five, six. Anyway, yeah, lots of mana. There's those two. Oh zombie horror. Ah, different from zombie. So there you go, that's that. Here we go. Focus. There you go. I'm sorry, my camera is so bad. Living Law, format. Oh, that's weird. Star, star. As Living Law enters the battlefield, exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Living Law's power and toughness are each equal to the exiled card's converted mana cost. When it deals combat damage, you may sacrifice it. If you do, you may cast the exile card without paying for its mana cost. Ooh, that's a very fancy card. I like that. Mix that up. It's in a deck that I will be building in the future. That was the most redundant thing I think I've said. Okay, here we go. We've got Swift Warkite again. Salt Road Quartermaster. Four. Three mana. So one, one. Enter the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. For three mana, remove all the counters from it. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Okay, cool. You can feed another creature. It's pretty sick. 
It's pretty dope boy fresh. Oh, that's the Modern Masters. Keen for that. It's those two. Put that there. Get rid of that. Okay. Oh, Descent of Dragons. <gasps> Mythic Rare. Mythic Rare alert. Mythic Rare, Mythic Rare. For six mana, destroy any number of target creatures. <laughs> Alright. For each creature destroyed this way, its controller puts a 4-4 four, four red dragon creature token flying onto the battlefield. Oh, so if, you, if you've actually got a crap number of, of some crap creatures out, or indeed, if you've got some really cool creatures out but are all suffering from enchantments and stuff, that wipes it and replaces them with something really cool. Six mana, that's not bad. I quite like that. Oh, let's hit the microphone with my face. Ah. Hit the microphone with my face, it goes round and round and I like the ham. Okay, 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 okay. Another one of those Veil of Dragon Fires. Okay. So here we go, look. Learn from the past. Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Draw a card. That's insane. Hang on. Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Draw a card. For four mana. Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Draw a card. Which is, I, I guess, a bit crap in terms of shuffling the library, or maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I guess that's, that's the idea. But you get everything back from your graveyard. I've been told my whole life that the great Ujutai, Ujutai holds all the knowledge, but I wonder what our forebears knew. That's, sorry, that's an insane card. I'm loving every second of that. Every second of that. That is so fresh. Some of that. Here we go, here's the rare, possibly mythic rare? Uh, ooh, uh... Two, Hidden Dragon Slayer. Two, one, Lifelink, Megamorph. Oh, so in terms of morphing, uh, okay, sure. Uh, when it's turned face up, destroy target creature with power four or greater and opponent controls. Well, I guess I sort of assume that nine times out of ten, that will probably be a dragon. Wow. Okay, we're burning through it now. We are getting it done. Yeah, let me guys know if um, what sort of stuff you've pulled. Uh, yeah, really interested in that. That'd be awesome. Another um, silk net from before. I just like to know. I'm nosy. I, I care about you guys. Another enduring scale lord that we had. All good stuff. Ah, there's another one of those tokens. Okay, here we go. Deathbringer Regent. Do we have Regent? When Deathbringer Regent enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand and there are five or more other creatures on the battlefield, destroy all other, cr all other creatures. So that's just a board wipe. Wow. So that's that. Five, six, four, seven. Check that out. Look how dry my skin is. It's just... Oh, gross. We still, we still got some boosters here, guys. You never know. We can hope we get another Planeswalker, wouldn't that be amazing? Or a couple more cool Mythics. I shall go through these uh, commons at some point properly. Oh, here we go, look. Savage Ventmore. Have we had that? I don't think so. It's a 4-4 four, four for 6. 
When it attacks, add three red, three green to your mana pool until end of turn. This mana doesn't empty from your mana pool as, as steps and end phases. Hang on. Until end of turn, this mana doesn't empty from your mana pool as steps and end... Oh, as steps and phases end. Oh, so does that just mean you can keep spending that? So throughout your turn, you are, you are guaranteed at least that three red, three green. Wow. Yes, yeah, there is some sick cards actually in here. Oh, hang on. But there's, there's those. It's just another one of those uh, advertisement things. Well, this looks crazy. Another foil. Oh, look at that. Look at that shine. That's what I wanted. Foul Tongue Shriek. Target opponent loses one life for each attack and creature you control. You gain that much life. So there's some black life link going on there, pretty much. One mana. That's cool. And it's one of them sweet foils. But we know what pile it's going in. That, the foils don't get their own pile. They have to muck in with the rest of them. Crater Elemental. Three mana. Zero six. Sacrifice Crater Elemental. Crater Elemental does four damage to target creature. Formidable for three mana. Um, has a base power eight until end of turn. Activate this ability only if creatures you control have total power eight or greater. That's sort of like a walking weird volcano thing. Wow. Mate, so much magic. Like I said, I've still got a fat pack in the event deck to have a proper look at. The event deck is amazing. Looks really, really cool. I don't. I tend not to with like clash packs and ready-made decks, like intro decks. When I used to get them, I don't like to tear them apart. I like to keep them as is. No, there's another evolving winds. I love that artwork. Evolving wild. Sorry, idiot. Okay. Cool. Some of that there. Oh, Pull it together, Vivian. Which is my surname, by the way. R oh, rare. Um, Jamoka's Command. Have we had this? Oh, no, we've had another command. Choose two. Prevent all damage target instant or sorcery spell would do this turn. Target player sacrifices an enchantment, but a plus one plus one counter on target creature or target creature you control fights target creature you don't control cool utterly utterly badass okay we have got we got six we got six booster packs left and this is a two and a half gig video so far <laughs> Eye of Thunder, give me Sight Beyond Sight. What? The four mana. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other at the bottom of your library. Rebound. If you cast a spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana. So you can, you can keep doing that. It's not just for one turn. That's amazing. Love that rebound. Oh, I love the artwork to that. Uncommon. Stormrider Rig, two mana, artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach Stormrider Rig to it. Equip two. You can't really see that that well. But it's just like lightning wings on the on the back. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, so we got those two. But also, we got a foil. Enduring victory. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Bolster one. That's awesome. My dragon lord is immortal. Most dragons are not. Whoa. Oh, that foil. 
So good. Okay. Thunderbreak Regent. 4-4 four, four, flying for 4. Whenever a dragon you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, Thunderbreak Regent deals 3 damage to that player. Boom. 4-4 four, for four, 4. That's actually quite a good... It's only like 5 for 4-4. Four, 6 four, for 4-4 four, four, I think. So that's a really good value I, I think personally. Some of you might be watching this going, Ed? And I'll go, what? And you'll say, what are you talking about? To which I'll reply, why are you in my house? To which you'll reply, I'm not entirely sure. And you know, we'll probably just have a game of magic and become best of friends, I think. Or I'll call the police, because that's not right. Oh, here's an interesting one. Flatten. Four mana. Target creature gets minus four, minus four till end of turn. So good. Sorry, we've got to read some flavour text. Like their dragon lord, the Kulagan take no trophies. They find true fulfilment only in the battle itself, in clash of steel and thunder of hooves. Oh, I see. So they, they okay, the idea of that is they just ride over you. Yeah, very good. Very good indeed. Okay, so there's them. We're going to put the rest of the uncommons. Oh, actually, this is quite a good uncommon. Six mana, three, three, dragon, shield hide dragon. So it's got megamorph, so when you turn it face up, it gets plus one, plus one counter on it. When it's turned face up, put plus one, plus one counter on each other dragon creature you control. So yeah, dragon heavy. You ready? See what we got? Boom! Stratus Dancer. Two mana, two one, creature, Jin Monk. Flying, Megamorph. Puts plus one, plus one counter on it. When it's turned face up, counter target instant or sorcery spell. Oh, that's pretty good. So for two mana, well, four mana altogether, I guess. So what you've got is when you pay three, it's a counter spell. And it's a two-one creature on top of it. That's all right, I think. This is the fourth to last booster. I'm, I'm going to miss the, the times that we've had doing this thing. Right, let's, let's get rid of them straight away. Look, come on. Let's just get rid of this rubbish. Um, let's have a look. Deadly Wanderings. Enchantment. As long as you control exactly one creature, that creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has death, touch, and lifelink. So... You can have this enchantment out. I was saying that, I guess it's a good fallback. It, if you get absolutely obliterated down to one creature and you've got this still going on at the side, it automatically gets a plus two, plus zero and has death touch and lifelink. Okay, so that's actually quite cool. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, okay. Oh! Uh, okay. Okay, we got, we got two rares. Surak, the Hunt Caller. Legendary creature. Four mana, five, four. Formidable. At the beginning of the combat of your turn, if creatures you control have total power eight or greater, target creatures you control gains haste until end of turn. Sorry, target creature you control gains haste until end of turn, not creatures. Five, four. For four. That's really good. So that's one rare. So you can guess. It's a foil. Oh my god. So dope boy fresh. Focus. Come on, focus. There you go. So Dragon Tempest, two mana. Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. 
That's just cool. I think I've had that before, but that is a foil rare card. Guys, down to our last three. Though not really, because as I say, I've still got a fat pack. So, <laughs> anything can happen. Okay, let's go through some of these. Stormcrag Elemental. Trample, 5-5 five, five for 6. Mana. So it's got Megamorph. I guess plus 1, plus 1. Yeah, it's just badass. That can be a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, there's those things there. Oh man, we're so close. I was, I'm wondering if I should include my fat pack in the opening times, but... I think I need something to myself. Just to sit and chill. So there's the deck. Magic Gathering. Deck Master. Mm. Boom. Headshot. Collagon's Command. Three mana. Choose two. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Target player discards a card. Destroy target artifact. Collagon's Command deals two damage to target creature or player. So, I mean, my, my logic as we come to our second-to-last booster is it's worth having an artifact deck or, you know, like a colourless deck because there's a lot of um, things that deal with, um, like, targets for, for specific... Let's just get these out of the way. We, we know what those last two cards are. Um, yeah, with a specific colour. Okay. Oh, three mana, uncommon. Virulent, virulent, virulent plague. There you go. Creature tokens get minus two, minus two. Just all of them. Yeah, look, like this. Um, Surge of the Righteousness. Destroy target black or red creature that's attacking or blocking. You gain two life. So it's got that sort of thing to it. There's that rare. Boom. Necromaster Dragon. Five mana, four full flying. Whenever Necromaster Dragon deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two. If you do, put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature deck onto the battlefield. And each opponent puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Oh, that's cool. So that pretty much represents when you kill something, it comes back as a zombie under your control. I really like that. Oh. Last one. We got this, guys. We got... Look, there's... Empty. It is It is kaput. It is no more. It is gone. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna dump this on the floor with the rest of the trash. Last one. So we're going to go through this card by card. Resupply. Instant for six mana. You gain six life. Draw a card. That's fairly solid. Hand of Silumgar. Two one for two mana. Death touch. That's pretty good. Nice early game card. Hardened Berserker. Three mana for a three two creature. When it attacks, the next spell you cast this turn costs one less to cast. Dragon Scarred Bear. So, formidable. To regenerate it, activate this ability. Oh, just regenerate it. Okay, cool. Only for control, uh, creatures have total power 8 or more. 3-2 creature. A Jutai Interceptor. Bird soldier, creature, flying, megamorph. 3-1. 4 mana. Dragon's Eye, Sentry, Defender and First Strike. 1 mana. That's really good. Reeling Wind. 3 mana. Prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn. Oh! All combat damage that will be dealt this turn. You may look at each face down... A creature that's attacking or blocking. Sarkhan's Rage. Deals 5 damage to target creature or player. 
If you control no dragons, it deals two damage to you. Another one of them. Sacrifice it, it deals two damage to target creature. Sarkhan's Triumph, instant. Search your library for a dragon creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Beltol Dragon had another one of them, flying in Hexproof, 3-3 three, three for 6. Megawolf, that's quite good. Another Tapestry of the Ages. Okay, here we go now. We're getting to... So, that's those two. Pretty good couple of cards to end on. So, that's the rare. That is a foil. Learn from the past. Four mana. Shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Draw a card. I still can't get over that. I, I don't know why I think that's absolutely amazing. Tell me if it is or it isn't. But to me that is just a whole... All the crap that has been killed. Put it back in. Yeah, and then shuffle it. I think that's... Incredible. So... Here it is, last one. Why are you suddenly being really slow? There you go. Magic Gathering, Dra Deck Master. Dragon Lord's Prerogative. Six mana, instant. As an additional cost to cast Dragon's or Prerogative, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you revealed a dragon card or controlled a dragon as you cast Dragon Lord's Prerogative, it can't be counted. Draw four cards. That's quite amazing. So, there we are. I'm going to leave it there, and we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it with how happy I am with that. At least I got one. And as much as I wanted Sarkhan, um, Sarkhan because of his ridiculous minus ten power, which is I think, go through your library. Um, Get all of your dragons and just put them on the battlefield. There you go. Sorted. Done. I think it, will t it takes you like four, four or five turns to get there, but it's stupid. It is actually really stupid. Look, okay, look, I'm going to actually move the camera now. And I'm... Oh. Motion! I'm going to say goodbye to you face to face because I love you. And we're going to press this button here. I'm going to get ready. Thank you so much, guys. Let me know what you think in terms of uh, what I pulled. Look at that Hyrulean shield. Look at that. Uh, um, yeah, um, let me know what you guys got. If indeed you got anything cool, uh, any advice that you guys can give me about building some stuff with the cards that you have seen. I kind of I, I rushed through it, although this is a, a three gig video now. But um, yeah, let me know. And once again, thank you, and I love you, especially you, you know who it is. <laughs>